We thought that this would be an important project because it's really about, it's about art, it's about the environment, it's about community awareness um, and urban revitalization. It's kind of all of those things rolled into one. So first and foremost, it's an art installation. It's beautiful and striking and it stops you in your tracks. Um, but the inherent messaging is about global deforestation and the artist really wanting to bring awareness to this issue. So you're doing a fantastic job. Thank you so much. We invited Constantinopolis to the Courier to create his Blue Trees installation because we really wanted to do a new project, something different than what The Courier has ever done, which is a public art installation and art that was completely outside of the museum and furthermore extending into the city. It's important to make a noise and that's what The Blue Trees is about. People making a, uh, making a statement and saying, trees are important to us, we protect them. For a short period of time, using a, a, a water-based colour uh, to bring these trees to life, almost in a surreal environment, almost like a, a, um, a Lorex, uh, Dr. Zeus type of thing, so that people stop and look at the trees and ask the question, why are the trees blue? In 2003, it was the, the size of Belgium every year of old growth forest was removed. That's a scary sign, and as soon as I heard that, I thought, how can, an, how can we use art, which is what I am as an artist, to highlight this? How do we use art as an artistic uh, installation to highlight this, this issue, which is serious? And again, it, it's not a paint. Uh, what we do, it's a watercolour. I'm actually anti-painting trees, so I would never put a paint on a tree. But in fact, we ask all, in all cases, that the forester, that the urban um, uh, tree specialists here, check the trees to make sure that they're not stressed, uh, to make sure that the trees are healthy before we do anything. Beyond my thought, with so many people, it's like they keep coming in as well, which is fantastic. But the great thing about this project, the Blue Trees, is that the artist creates it entirely with the help of the community in which it is being installed. So for this project, every single day that we were out creating the installation, there were people from our community helping create it. So everyone was getting a chance to be an artist and understand how the art is made and why it's being made and why it's going where it's going. Um, and that's something really new and different for us and something that we were really glad to bring to the community and we felt that people really enjoyed doing it. I can reach here. Getting kids to interact with trees is, is really important. What they do with it afterwards, is we're not sure. But it's, it's like I say, it's like introducing them to nature. Perhaps this is a kind of a fun way and using art to kind of introduce people to nature. Some may go and become artists, some may become environmentalists. This project is really about the power of art to inspire people and especially to inspire discussions about social change and changing one's environment and being aware of one's environment. I think people want to do something, you know, people want to help. People are, are crying out to do something and I guess what the Blue Trees does is saying, yes we are doing something and it is, it is there is a purpose for it. And so uh, individually, you know, the Blue Trees is not going to change the world, but with other organisations and other, and cities and, and, and and communities around the world, that's how it changes. So all we're hoping to do is just light a small uh, a fire uh, as such, and then allow people then within their communities to, to start appreciating more what they have and, and make a noise when maybe some trees are removed that they don't want removed because they're important to them. And I think that's the critical part. Because ideas, uh, the, the blue will disappear, but the idea of the blue tree and what it's behind will always last.